I've been going through how to use lists in Python. And so, so far I did uh, an introduction to list and I'll include that link down below. And then I did this cool thing right here. I'll rerun it where I have a whole bunch of balls and I launch them at different angles uh, with the same velocity and it's just kind of artistic. Now I do want to do something with this uh, that I read in a book and it said that when an asteroid or yeah, an asteroid hits and makes a crater, it ejects stuff. And it said that the velocity of the ejection was related to the launch angle and it made this like curtain curtain debris thing. So I want to reproduce that. So here's the thing. I want to use the same program and let's just go ahead and copy it because I don't want to delete that. And except that instead of launching at the same velocity, I want to also increase, have a relationship between velocity and angle. I don't know if that makes sense and I don't even know if that's going to work. So let's just go through this program real quick, what I have so far. So there's my gravitational field. I have it launch at some initial velocity V0 of five meters per second. I have 10 balls starting with an angle of zero to pi over two and they're evenly distributed. And this makes a list of balls of different launch angles, but all starting from the same place. Uh, and, and so I'm gonna have that same thing, but I'm gonna have different launch velocities too. Down here, I go through uh, I, I run it for a certain amount of time. I go through each ball in the ball list. I update its velocity. I update its position. And then I make sure it doesn't go below the ground and that's it. And that's how I get that, that very cool, I think, uh, animation. But so let's just, let's just, all we really need to do is change the initial velocity up here. So let's do this. Let's make a parameter, call it uh, V scale. And let's say V scale is equal to I'm just picking a value, 0.1. So down here, I have the angle theta. Uh, and I have the launch velocity V0. So what I want to do is instead of saying V0 is 5, let's just say uh, Vs is V0 times V scale times theta. Now this might be crazy because now I'm going to get theta, let's say if theta, no, maybe it'll work out okay. I uh, know it's too small, I guess. Uh, v scale should be, I want, the, my, I want my fastest one to be 5. So let's say V scale is uh, pi over 2, so 5 times pi divided by 2. So then when I get to, no, times 2 divided by pi. So now when I get to pi over 2 angle, then it'll be launched at a velocity of 5. So then I know things are going to kind of work out. So that's my V scale. So down here, I'm going to say, so my my ball launched at a vol an angle of 0 will have a 0 velocity, which doesn't matter. It wasn't going anywhere anyway, so who really cares? Um, so that's that. And I don't know if this is going to work. I'm just going to run it. What do you think? Let's save it. Uh, we'll call this uh, projectile crater create crater no no cre crater crater how do you spell that cr well explosion ha <laughs> projectile save so i'm using uh, glow script v python just to remind you uh, this is in trinket.io i'm going to give you the code don't worry about that it'll be linked down below it didn't do anything Hmm. Oh, V scale times, no, pi over two, theta is zero, pi five times pi over two. This looks like it didn't do anything. Oh, because down here I didn't change it, dummy. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I need to run it for a longer time. Run it for ten sec five seconds. Because that one's going really high. Okay, so if theta is equal to pi over 2, then the velocity is going to be v0, 5, to aha. So this should be 1. Okay, let's run that again. Hmm, it's kind of hard to tell. 
Uh, let's run this in slower motion. So let's just do it at 10. I want you're supposed to get this like curtain thing. Yeah, okay. Let's do this. I think that one of the problems is that uh, my scale is kind of off. Let's make these balls a little bit smaller. So uh, 0.1 and let's make more balls. Let's do up to 20. I kind of like that. You know, I think that I think I, I should turn off the trail though. So let's just put this at make trail equals false. And let's make even more balls. 50. Yeah, look at that. Okay, now I ooh. Oh, I like that. I, I want to make it. I want to make it go both ways, right? I want to make balls going both to the right and to the left, because that will look like a real explosion. Okay, so what do I need to do there for I in range ten? So I'm going to need the balls. I'm going to need to make. Okay, I need to start theta. Theta at negative pi over two. And then so the first angle will be launched to the left, and then I'll increase that until, okay, and then my d theta needs to be, I need, I need a bigger, I need this as twice as big. I think that should work. I don't know, let's just see. What the heck? Okay, let's put this at the origin, and let's do more balls. Okay, I'm pretty happy. That's pretty cool. Now, so I'm gonna give you some homework because this is in one dimension. See if you can make this a three-dimensional explosion uh, and maybe even add some color, add some different sizes in there, random sizes of the objects. That's actually pretty cool. Random, oh, random. Actually add, some, add something in there that's a little bit random. Uh, that'd be pretty cool. Maybe add some colors in there. Uh, if you want, you could give them mass and have air drag. That would be really cool. Uh, this is just a cool problem. I would just, I would like to play with this some more. But I, I wanted to just see if it worked, and it seems like it does. And I'm gonna let you finish the problem. Uh, but the codes here, I'm gonna put down below my introduction to lists, my introduction to projectile motion, my introduction to my tutorial on making uh, the previous calculation. So all that will be in here, and you can go to town on that. Do your homework and play with this code. You're not going to figure this stuff out if you don't play with it. So just play with it and see what you can find. And if you come up with something cool, put it in the link down below, and I'd love to see it. Talk to you later.